Hi, and welcome once again to the Resources Roadhouse Lockdown Lowdown Series. Uh, today, um, we have a return guest in Jeremy Robinson of Rare X. Uh, now, Jeremy, uh, you uh, last time we spoke, you were just about to embark on a drilling campaign at your uh, Trundle um, project out in, um, or your joint venture out in uh, the Lachlan Fold Bat of uh, New South Wales. Uh, that's going very well, apparently, from today's announcement. That's what uh, the news has told us. Um, so uh, I'll let you fill us in on the results of that first hole and then we'll talk about what's to come. So uh, yeah, what happened? Uh, yeah, thanks Wally. Uh, we had some good news uh, last night from our joint venture partner in Canada, Kinkora Copper Limited. Uh, they've been drilling out at our joint venture project in New South Wales and Lachlan Fold Belt at the Trundle Park project. We're 35% free carried in that project to bankable feasibility study and have a 10% equity holding in the company. Uh, they just completed the first hole at the Trundle Park project and they got significant mineralisation in multiple zones down the hole. Uh, most excitingly, the uh, scan mineralisation was much more extensive and much more mineralised, at least visually, than the previous drilling had indicated. So very much got a tiger by the tail, as they say there, and what we're targeting is a, a sort of Acadia type analogue. Uh, there is a scan proximal like that to a very large Cadia deposit, and that's what we're targeting at Trundle Park as well. So very exciting. All right, so th this is the first hole. Uh, now, is that first hole complete and you've moved on to the second hole or is it still still going? Uh, look, we've completed the first hole to a depth of 682 metres, I believe. Um, the rig has moved 12 kilometres north to our second target called Mordialac, while we assay the first hole. Uh, so we'll be drilling up to the northern target about for about the next two weeks while we get the assays back on the first hole so we can get some vectors onto some higher grade portions of the um, Trundle Park project. So drilling up at our second target now and then we'll bring the rig back down once we've got the uh, chemical assays for the first hole. All right so um, so basically you're moving back and forth back and forward between um, uh, t um, drill targets. That's right between the Trundle Park uh, prospect and the Mordialac prospect. All right, no worries. The whole could take about two weeks to complete. All right, good. So, um, uh, what you've seen so far, what does it sort of tell you about um, the, the mineralisation that you've hit? Uh, what we've seen so far, at least from what the joint venture partner has, has seen, I can't get over to New South Wales at the moment, unfortunately. But uh, what we've seen is very pervasive mineralisation in the SCARN. Uh, SCARNs are generally almost always proximal to very large porphyry systems, which are the, the fluid and heat source drivers of these uh, mineralising systems. So what we've encountered is a much larger system than we had expected. And hopefully there's a much larger porphyry at depth than, than we had expected as well. So all encouraging signs at this point. All right, so, and um, I'm just looking at the talking points here of the uh, uh, the announcement that came out this morning. So. Trundle is, a, it says here, the only brownfield project held by a listed junior. Um, so you're in rare, well, rare X is in uh, rare air, so to speak, that um, you, you're the only um, company, listed company to have such a project going at the moment. Uh, that's that's right, yeah, we're the only sort of brownfield type project on the ASX. Um, uh, the other one is uh, Alcane, and that's been a spectacular discovery. Uh, we haven't got assays back yet, but we know we're in a mineralised copper bearing system and that's why we call it a brownfields project. A lot of the other ones in the in the region uh, haven't got the sort of extensive mineralisation that we appear to have at this point. All right, well no doubt you're um, sort of uh, hanging on those SA results. Um, uh, like the labs at the moment with the COVID-19, are they, uh, I suppose, are they backlogged? Are they uh, moving along quickly? Is, uh, do you expect to get them reasonably soon or uh, what's the story there? Oh, look, I haven't inquired, Wally, but I assume they've probably got quite a bit of capacity. There's not too many exploration rigs turning in Australia at the moment. Uh, mine sites are still active, but uh, all non-essential exploration has essentially been turned off in Australia. So I'd expect to have those assays back within, uh, within two weeks. All right. Well, as always, we'll keep our eye out for those and so we can bring them to our uh, readers and viewers here at the Resources Roadhouse. And so we'll also look forward to uh, come what may from uh, the Mordialic target too. That sounds like um, that's a, quite an interesting one as well. Yeah, Mordialic is a, another target very similar to what we've drilled at uh, Trundle Park. It's uh, got 
strong chemistry and historic drilling with an IP target at depth, which we're targeting at the moment. So previous holes had increasing grade towards the IP target and very similar to Trundle Park, uh, probably a better target in my opinion in terms of the strength of the, op, the IP target, but you know, just got to drill these things to find out. Oh, well, there's no better noise than the sound of a drill rig turning, so we'll uh, wait to see uh, what sort of results we, we get from all of that, Jeremy. But until then, thanks very much for joining us here at the Resources Roadhouse. Thank you, Wally. We look forward to it too. Cheers.